hey guys welcome back so guys we are going to start with the php pdo using bind param function guys okay so we'll be creating a crud application so guys we have already seen about that php pdo crud but in this series we are going to learn about php pdo using bind param function crud application okay so guys basically we are going to insert the data edit update and delete the data using the bind param function in this php pdo crud so guys now let's get started with it so as we have already created with the database and its table named as students over here and it has few fields like full name email phone and course and with the id primary key and one integer with the auto increment value so guys now let's create the student form as per this database requirement so guys now let's get started so let's move to our editor and here guys i'm using a bootstrap 5 cdn link to design this user interface and just get started with a simple create button okay call mmd12 card card header h4 tag php pdo using bind param function okay crud and let's give a a tag where add student class button primary let's create the file name as same student add dot php and let's make it this to float end so yep guys now let's give this card body over here all done let's see the output for this refresh cool so nice design guys and now let's click on this add student here you move to student add.php file let's create a file and create the form student add.php so basically we require all the design let's control a and copy all the code and paste here so we don't require few things just remove that margin top four here we tell add data let me create this as a back button so let's keep this as index.php page and here guys let's begin with the form design let's type form method is equal to post simple margin bottom a label not required for four let's give full name and the input field form hyphen control and this input field name as full name so yep guys let's copy this let's make this as email email id email copy and paste email so now phone number let's make this text and this will be the phone column now final is the course okay all set now guys you need to create one button let's create the button as simple save student let me zoom it minimize this so yep let's design this button button primary and this button type is equal to submit and the button name will be save student save it guys and now let's check the output perfect so now guys uh, let's begin with inserting the data so when you click on submit button it goes to action let's go to code.php file with the method post 
and take all the input fields so let's create the file name code.php all set open php close php so guys first you need to include your database connection include where dbcon.php file create the database okay so let me just copy the database connection code where there is a code so let's copy this and paste here done so if you want this link guys we have you just go to fund of a byte and just move to pdo tutorials so you'll find your latest pdo tutorials updates over here okay so let's get back so now guys here you set up your database name my username is root password is null and database name is php tutorials okay so let me just copy this and paste here all set guys so now guys let's get back to the code.php and begin with the if condition by checking by using a set function where you are going to check dollar underscore post method of what when you click the submit button save student so let's copy this and go to code.php save here and now guys let's call the variables so as you can see that full name using post method you are going to get your input field data as given here input field name attribute as full name so same concept goes with the second email then phone and final his course all done so now guys let's execute with the try catch where you can give the pdo exception pdo exception dollar e and just echo this echo your my error type add and just echo this dollar e get message function so now you can write the query over here so first step let's uh, write the query so dollar query is equal to insert into the table name so my table name is students let me just browse this here we get the table name as students where the input field i mean database column field here you need to copy this id i'm not copying it all done and now you can just go on with values question mark space question mark comma space question mark comma space question mark comma space so guys this is the one two three four values okay so now let's prepare this statement dollar statement is equal to your database connection with prepare function dollar your above query query all set so now guys you need to bind all your variables and then execute it so let's bind that let's copy this and bind using param function bind param function so first it goes to this group let's add that one comma and then your variable at this first variable what you want to store the full name so let's copy this full name and paste here so same concept with the four fields it goes to second third and fourth so second one field is email so let's take the variable email and paste here the third is phone and the fourth is course guys all done after this you need to execute your statement exe execute function that's it so this is how we use uh, our bind param function in php pdo 
so now guys let's uh, create the variable as query execution or execute is equal to done I mean the spelling misspelled query execute and check in a if condition okay let's set the message dollar underscore session where we will give a message variable and you can mention added successfully after this let's give the header location where location colon index.php let's use the index function i mean exit function and now you can give a else condition where you have to say that not added okay or something went wrong as per your requirement so yep guys and now you if you are using a session you need to start the session at your top of your page session start function so you're going to index.php with the session you need to start the session in your index.php page also let's paste that all done and let's echo the message so now let's move below and here we will use a if condition open and close php if open and close curly brace so here we are going to check with the is that function dollar underscore session of message so if this message is set you are going to echo in a h4 tag like let's concatenate and paste here and let's add a class alert alert success all done after showing the message let's unset it what your you have set the session as a message right so let's unset this done so now guys this is a simple method to show the message and yep let's get back so guys now let's insert the data and let's check it's saving or not so first with prakash with at gmail.com some random phone number dca let's add student here we see added successfully and let's refresh the message has gone now let's check in our database browse cool so you can see that guys our data is stored so let's add once again here we go with mohan kumar mohan at gmail.com some phone number bcs save student here we added successfully let's browse perfect so guys in this we have successfully completed with the how to insert the data using pdo with the bind param function okay so yep guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share